So when it comes to mechanical keyboards, I feel like there are two kinds of customers. There are those of you out there who want to, I guess, take the time and find all the different hardware and put it all together yourself and really tailor make something that's very special and very unique. Um, and then there are those of you who just want to go ahead and invest a good amount of money from a name brand and get something back in return that's going to have a lot of features and you know you get that warranty support and it integrates with the rest of the hardware and the ecosystem that you might be in um, which is something that you can't necessarily get from making a custom keyboard i feel like i definitely fall into i guess category number two um, i'm a little bit intimidated right now about building something myself but who knows that might change down the track but that's not what we're here for today we're looking at the asus ROG Strix Flare 2 Animate. This is a keyboard that is very, very exciting, has a lot of very, very cool features. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my experience because I've been using this keyboard now for a few weeks and also some of the concerns that I have um, that I think you should be aware of if you're potentially you know, thinking about picking up this keyboard for yourself. So if you did enjoy the video, chuck it a like, get subscribed if you wanna see more videos on the channel like this and uh, let's begin. Okay, so at the time of making this video, this keyboard is actually not on sale, but I've been told that the price is 349 Australian dollars, that's the RRP, um, but that will probably depend on your location and the retailer that you're buying it from. In terms of features that you get with this keyboard, there is a lot to go through and I'm gonna try and make sure I don't miss out on any of the important ones, but let me know if I do miss something and you wanna know about it, I'll, um, I'll definitely try and get back to you. So just you know maybe leave me a message in the comment section. This is a full size mechanical keyboard. So it's got a number pad, you've got media controllers up in the top left corner. And I guess one of the real, I guess, highlights, something that's really cool and exciting is that anime matrix mini LED display up in the top right hand corner, which if you've been on the channel and you've seen some of the other videos, I've recently done a video about their headphones I'll leave a link up in the corner so you can go and check that out because that also has that anime matrix LED display technology as well. So if you want to see it on a pair of headphones, you can do that. Um, and I feel like this is something that you're going to be seeing a lot more in Asus's premium products as time goes on. Now, before I begin, I'm going to actually start off by doing the keyboard typing test so you can actually see how it sounds because uh, I know that is very, very important and can sometimes make or break a keyboard. All right, so what do you think? Do you think it sounds good? Do you think the sound dampening has done a good enough job? Do you think it's something that is appropriate for streaming or maybe even taking to the office? I'd love to know what you guys think. I think it sounds pretty good. Now with the lighting, it's a addressable RGB keyboard, obviously, so you can go ahead and control all the lighting and effects through the Armory Crate software, which you can download from ASUS. You can also integrate that with the rest of the Aura Sync ecosystem so if you've got maybe a gpu a motherboard some fans that are also being synchronized with armory crate uh, or a sync this keyboard will integrate with that and you can go ahead and you can change the effects on the anime matrix led display as well so you can go ahead and muck around with some of the i guess pre-installed or pre-loaded animations that are there from ASUS. Um, there is a library you can download some other effects from, but you can also go ahead and change the display's effects to show things like uh, obviously the clock, if you want to do that, maybe when you get a new email coming in, um, but it also acts as a display so you can change, sorry, no, not change, so you can see, you know, the increments in terms of the lighting of the keyboard, um, the volume settings, the play, pause, track forward, track back, all that kind of stuff. So it's not just, you know, a cool 
animation effect on the top right. You can also go ahead and use it for some of the system integrations um, as well. One thing though that I think would be really nice and maybe they'll include these features going forward is if you could get things like your CPU temperature or maybe your, um, I don't know, FPS in a game or something like that showing in that top right hand corner. I think that would be really, really cool and more integration with more of the um, other things that I know that you enthusiasts out there are doing, you PC enthusiasts, you know, you've got all these different um, maybe utilities in the background. If there's ways to monitor that from that display, making that display even more useful, um, like the old Logitech, can't remember what model it was, the G something something a long time ago, you had a little display there. I think it'd be really cool to see something like that integrated with this keyboard. But in terms of like what it can do right now and the effects, it's actually a really, really nice add on. Now on the subject of notifications and system integration, you actually do have some media controls up on the top left. So you've got a scroll wheel, which is actually a metal scroll wheel for your volume. And if you press that down, that will actually also act as a mute um, for your speakers or for your headphone, for your window sounds. You've also got there a play pause button on the side of the keyboard and a toggle for play forward, or sorry, next track and previous track. And then you've got these two other switches to the right, which are actually your Windows lock key, but also your keyboard brightness um, increment key. So you can go, I think, up in four stages from completely dark and then 25%, 50%, 75 and 100%. Um, and those media controls are actually really, really nice to have. So you don't have to worry about, you know, typing in macros or anything like that. Being a full size keyboard, you obviously get all of the function row keys. You got your number pad on the far right hand side. One thing that they've really done nicely though, which is with the number lock, caps lock and scroll lock indicators, usually they're at the very top of the keyboard and with a mechanical keyboard, the switches and the keycaps are quite high and you can't really probably see um, those little indicators. And the fact that they've brought them down above the arrow keys, so when you're typing, you can easily see in that sort of empty space there whether or not you've got those um, caps lock, number lock, you know, on or off is really, really nice. It means that you don't have to like kind of peek over the top of the keyboard to see if they're on and off. So good job there, Asus, on that one. Now for polling rate, most keyboards have a 1000 Hertz polling rate or 750 or 500, but this one's actually 8000 Hertz. Um, apparently the response time is 0.125 seconds. So if you're someone who is playing a lot of really competitive games online and every keystroke matters, maybe you're playing Dota, maybe you're playing a bit of FPS, maybe you're wanting to make sure that every single key press is actually registered properly, um, this keyboard would definitely do that for you. And from my experience, it is very responsive and I don't feel like the keyboard's ever let me down in a, in a, in a situation where I really needed to make sure that every key that I hit actually was registered, where I know that in the past I've actually had some problems. So Asus has absolutely nailed it in this department. Of course, it's anti-ghosting as well with rollover. So if you hit multiple keys at the same time, it's not gonna have any issues and create problems for you. Um, it's completely supported. And you know, the fact that you've got these really fast NX reds on there with this really fast polling rate, um, you would kind of expect that. And this keyboard has definitely delivered. Now, in terms of typing experience, I mentioned before that it was a really consistent feel from the left to the right. Um, everything felt really solid, but the actual acoustic, acoustics of this keyboard, they mentioned on the product page that they put some sound dampening in um, below the actual um, keys and the body. So you actually don't feel like when you're hitting them down or if you're typing quite fast that you're getting a lot of that clang and that sound that sort of reverberates and echoes throughout the room. So it's actually even a keyboard that you could probably use in an office and you wouldn't annoy too many people. And if you're also someone who's streaming and you've got your microphone maybe quite close to the keyboard, um, this keyboard does a good job of trying to minimize as much of that sound and that echo and that clang as possible. And it actually does feel really, really nice and sound really, really good as well. Nothing, nothing feels loose or, um, you know, not properly assembled, just feels really solid and nicely dampened. Um, it's a nice steel body with very, very little deck flex. It weighs about 1.1 kilos. To give you any indication of the build quality of this thing, you could use it as a weapon if you wanted to. It is an absolute tank of a keyboard, but I really, really like that. For the cable, it's a two meter long braided cable with 
I guess, two USBs. And the reason why is one is obviously for the keyboard and the lighting, and then the other is for the USB 2 pass through. So it's actually a USB 2 port on the back of this keyboard, which is perfect if you want to go ahead and plug in maybe a USB headphones or a USB receiver for a wireless mouse. Um, that is definitely there. And the RGB lighting actually at the front of the keyboard, you've got this diffuse strip, which looks really, really sick. So you get a bit of that RGF, RGB effect onto the actual mouse mount, onto the desk. Um, but then there is also an included um, PU leather, I think it is, uh, wrist rest, which is really cool. So you can add that on if you wanna be able to you know, have a bit more pressure or a bit more support on your wrist when you're typing. Um, one thing though, you can actually take off that diffuse strip from the keyboard and put it onto the inside of the wrist rest as storage, put the wrist rest on, and that light shines through the actual wrist rest, which is, um, not something that too many manufacturers that I've experienced have actually done well. You know, usually once you put the rest, rest, on, wrist rest on, the RGB uh, that is coming out of the bottom of the keyboard is completely just guy like blocked off and, and you sort of miss out a little bit. But ASUS has thought of that as well. And so the light shines all the way through. So it doesn't matter if you have it on or off, you get RGB underglow coming through everywhere and it looks really, really nice. Now in the box as well, you get a keycap puller, you get the switch puller as well because you can obviously change out those switches if you want to. You've got some ROG stickers, um, the quick start guide and the warranty booklet. So that's the accessories that you get included, which is actually pretty decent. And it's all, you know, branded with the ASUS ROG logos and everything else. So even though, like I said, you're paying, you know, $349 for this keyboard, you get a good amount of accessories included. And overall, it's been a very, very solid keyboard from sort of every single aspect that I can pick apart in terms of the mechanics and the response and the technology. It is actually really, really good. So would I actually go ahead and recommend this keyboard to you guys? And what do I think? Um, the price, $349, I know that might put a lot of people off or some people off, but I actually think if you're looking for a keyboard with no compromises, a lot of customization, you can add a lot of personality to it, you can change up the switches and the caps later on if you wish to, and it's gonna be something that's going to last a long time. I feel like ASUS has ticked every single box here, and it is actually an appropriately priced product when you consider all of those, all of those different features. So if you're someone who wants an absolute sort of no compromise end game keyboard that has everything that you need, it's very impressive to look at, very impressive to type on, very impressive performance. This is definitely one to recommend and I honestly cannot fault it from a keyboard point of view. I just wish that the Anime Matrix LED display had a little bit more integration with the system and you could do some custom things to it like show the FPS or the temperature of a CPU or GPU. That would be really handy in my um, in my environment, in my scenario, from what I'm doing. Um, and I wish the Armory Crate software was just a little bit more polished, but I know that it's just going to get better in time because considering where ASUS has come from and where they are now, I can't see any signs of them slowing down and sort of just dropping back and letting this sort of, uh, letting some of these issues plague them. So in terms of a keyboard experience though, very, very solid. And if you want something, again, no compromises, end game, long time use, definitely consider getting this one when it becomes on sale. And I think it's gonna be a very popular keyboard uh, for a lot of people out there. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you have any questions, concerns, anything that I might have missed, please let me know down in the comment section. I really wanna get back to you guys and hear what you have to say about this video and about this keyboard. Um, Chuck it a like, get subscribed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.